All right, what's up, YouTube? Uh, here again. Um, about to talk to y'all about yet, uh, but not about talk to y'all about another card from the box. Um, Pendulum Storm. It's going to be uh, much like uh, Wavering Eyes, but without the additional effects, of course. Just plain and simple. Uh, plain and simple spell. But, um, it, let's see. Let's see. It destroys as many cards as possible in each player's pendulum zone. And then you can target one spell, try your opponent controls, and destroy it. Um, I guess, you know, it, they can destroy both your both your players' pendulum scales and then destroy a back row. Um, obviously, a little different than Wavering Eyes. But, um, you know, nothing really too strong. But, um, let me see. I guess, let's say something keeps a, a pendulum zone safe for one destruction. You can destroy it with this. Try to destroy it with this first. It won't go nowhere. And then you can destroy it. So it's kind of like something where, like, you know, something works like that. And I know there's a magician card that keeps him safe that whole turn. But let's say if there's something that was like keeps it safe for one destruction, you can probably do that because that'll get rid of it. But uh, like I said, it's just like Wavering Eyes, but a little bit different, obviously. Um, for starters, it's Wavering Eyes and it's quick play. But you're going to destroy as many cards in each player as pendulum as possible. And then apply these effects in sequence. So if you destroyed four, obviously you can add another wave or not to hit in hand. It's not once per turn either, so it's all a good thing there. Play two more of yours and then blow them up and do the same thing. Three, you can banish your card to field. So banish maybe a monster they have. It's a back row or whatever. Add uh, any pendulum monster you want. So you can add something from your deck in. And then they take 500 damage, which is, huh, you know, small things help out. It'll build up. But yeah, um, obviously, Waving Eyes is way better. Quick play, <clears throat> disrupt your opponent. And if your opponent has pendulums, you can even use their destroyed pendulums to search off what you need versus just destroying everybody's pendulums and then destroying the spell of trap. You know, it's just, it's probably okay depending on how the meta looks. But for now, uh, Wavering Eyes is the way to go. Obviously, max it out if you're using the Pendulum builds, Pendulum decks like Pepe and Magicians. You're obviously going to use three. Um, and also, uh, a lot of a lot of players for the mirror match, they want to opt the, you know, side it out to be fair. Like, I don't believe that. You know, I I disagree with that, that notion because it's just, it's not something I would do. Like, if you don't want to lose to it, then, you know, that's just, that's just tough luck. Like, you got no choice. <laughs> I'm sorry it blows out the mirror match. It blows out whatever. Like, especially if I'm up a game, like, I'm, I'm trying to guarantee victory here. Why would I take out a card that once I play it, I win? <laughs> I don't get it. Like, I don't really agree with that. <clears throat> that's not my cup of tea. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, the game's not really fair anyway, so why well, are you trying to make it, you know, fair again? It's not, not, not you know, it's not that kind of game. <laughs> it's been fair. It's not been fair for a while, so we're not going to really start that up again. But anyway, that's what I think about it. You know, I, would, I wouldn't agree with that. It, it was the same logic with uh, emptiness, you know, let's side it out so we can special stall game, you know, lose a game for cool, either or, but that's the way it should be, you know. Trying to win as quickly as possible, as easy as possible, you know, especially when, if I'm up a game, eh, I don't be wanting to go to game three and all that, <laughs> you know. But yeah, that's really, that's all I want to talk about, just uh, what it did and what it really uh, relates to. So, Wavering Eyes and Pendulum Storm. Uh, as opposed, it's, it's, I guess it's okay, but it's not going to really shine right now until Waver and Eyes get maybe hit or banned, you know. I doubt I'll ban it, but if it, if it gets the one, then maybe you can see some uh, some support because unlike Ignites, they don't, the Pendulum Scales don't pop themselves. Luckily, they have the Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Luckily, they have that to clear up space. And even, uh, other cards like Lizard Draw, and also a uh, Pendulum Wizard 
make pops them so he'll make space and then you add in whatever so thankfully they have those to clear the board clear the pendulum zone for you because uh, otherwise these would do it obviously and get their effects going but that way you won't be stuck with the scales you have but yeah that's it youtube just wanted to talk about the pendulum scales uh just wanted to discuss between that and wavering eyes but yeah let me know what you think youtube uh what will you think we'll see in the future? Do you think Wavering Eyes will get limited slash banned? And do you think Pendulum Storm will see more play after that? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And that's it. Let me know what you think. Comment, rate, subscribe. See y'all next time. I have more discussions up eventually and later. That's it. Peace out, YouTube.